The pipe organ has always been an eerie place. This is a legend of strange phenomena occurring deep inside the organ. The pipe organ went out of service in 2001. Years later, a certain amount of people have said to have heard strange phenomena, eerie music, coming from the pipe organ. Nothing has ever been seen or found. Naturally, people who have heard this phenomena have gone to investigate. When they approach the stairs leading up to the pipe organ, they carry on hearing the strange eerie music. When they get to the top, they see nothing. However, when they open the door, they look towards the console and nobody is there. The music simply fades away. What was it? Was it a ghost? Or was it something even more sinister? Stops on a pipe organ have always played a big part in an organ. Thomas and Joe's organ extravaganza have got the original documentation for all of the stops on the pipe organ. So today we are investigating all of the stops on the pipe organ. Hello ladies and gentlemen, now I'm here in the pipe organ in the real console with all the stops in here. Now I have the exact documentation that was uh, printed when the organ was built. Here are the new organ of Full Russell School 1923. And um, this is all the documents from all the stops. Uh, if you have a look, here we can see all the pedals, pedal organ stops, which are over here, which is the pedal, ladies and gentlemen, and um, as you see on here, you've got open wood, uh, sub bass, I think, a bit the pinch of it, an octave and flute, ladies and gentlemen. Can I just point out, Thomas, that when the organ was rebuilt again in 1974, they did add three stops to the they pedal. They added three new stops to the pedal, which is, Jill will explain because I haven't really looked at this. It's basically <laughs> just three high pitched stops, they don't take up much space. That's all that they did to the organ. It's still original from 1923. Back to Thomas. So when they built the organ again, they added lots more stuff to it. Now the choir organ, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see notated here, we have um, some more stops here. Uh, Contra Dulcania. <laughs> that's fine. I'm not sure that's fine. <laughs> I'm not very good at the... Uh, here we are, over here. Contra Dulcania. Um, and they didn't add any more to the choir, ladies and gentlemen, for the new organ. I say it's all original here in the choir. Now, we move on to the great organ. It has eight stops, and um, uh, we can see double gagan. I don't know, I'm not very good at pronouncing it. <laughs> um, large open Dyson, small open Dyperson, I think that's right, and uh, clarable flute. Octave, octave quaint, I think. Super octave and, oh, where's the tricky word here? Sesquilter. <laughs> I think that's right, I don't know. Um, yes, so that's the uh, great ladies and gentlemen. Now, we come to the swell organ, ladies and gentlemen, which has eight stops again, ladies and gentlemen. The swell is over here, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, when it was added, when it was refurbished, it had nine stops. Um, which is uh, the Violin Dayperson, Lablich Gedik. Do you know, I'm not going to read the names out, I can't even pronounce them anyway. And we haven't got all the documentation for all the stops I do. Now, as you see, this is how the stops originally on a proper pipe organ were actually built as. As you see on the organ now set there that we showed you, the electric organ, as brilliant as it is, the stops are quite modern and they're just buttons and they're not traditional stops. I always think traditional stops always make an organ look like an organ which is, I think is brilliant. Um, pistons remain the same. Uh, there's not as much pistons on here um, as the organ down there. There's only four. 
five, including the uh, smelter grate and grate head. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I think uh, it looks very nice. Can I say at this point to mention something, Thomas? Yes. On uh, pipe organs, on the swells and the grates, they have a thing called octave. And that means if you play a C like this, you will also hear the C above it all by itself. Amazing. And um, and also another feature, which I think, yeah, that's the same as well. When you play on here, the keys on here will also go down as well. So whatever you play on It the plays grate, itself. It plays itself, which is on every pipe organ that they make, um, which is amazing. Because I always think that looks scary when uh, you see keys moving down without pressing them down. So anyway, that is the uh, organ tour with uh, Joe and Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.